the numbers and engagement on posts like this just it, it, every time I see it, it's like a splinter in my brain because I'm just like, <sighs> it's not a contest. It's a plot device. It's a scripted television show. We don't have a government. We don't control policy. At no point ever has popular will been linked statistically at all to policy. We really just, I, 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 it, it's, it's so hard. It's so hard. Like, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, it's, it's, we don't vote. There isn't a government. The people who dictate policy for this nation are not even here. Okay. The Federal Reserve is a branch. Oh my God. When you're upset, it means that an expectation you have isn't being met. And when I'm upset, I, I like to sometimes stop and try and think, what is it? What, what am I expecting? Why do I expect that? Do I think it's reasonable to expect that? You know, just basic, um, I guess, cognitive due diligence. And I expect people to respond to facts. I expect people to seek out important data for decisions that they make. Like, let's say you're going to go buy a car. I expect you to Google some relevant questions before you just get up and go do it, you know? And I guess that that's not reasonable. Like, judging from the majority's behavior, doing some level of research is just a bridge too far. It's, it's too big an ask. And that's hard. That's hard to deal with. I don't know how I can fix that. I guess it comes from basically being lied to institutionally from an early age. I mean, right away. Most most people with my income level are there for generational reasons. You know, we never came from money. Several generations. So we were subject to deceptive training and our grandparents and parents lied to us because they didn't know any better because they were lied to and then the tv lies and the movies lie and and the music lies everything lies and by the time you realize that most of it's lies it's way way too late because kids just accept stuff they just you know they just believe by default and i got told the same stuff you did you know work hard play fair it'll be fine you know and and that's just not the case as with so many things there's not a tooth fairy there's not santa and there's not a god there's not karma and you can really disprove all that stuff pretty easily the only way to have a god is if you are asserting that it's actively hiding you know and that it's mean for inscrutable reasons because you're admitting that the problem of evil is, is unsolvable and you know it is it's unsolvable but they they assert you know it's it's like axiomatic there must be I'm like okay most people don't even think about it that hard they, they don't even register that there's a problem of evil and it, it's like one of the many, many lies we were told. And like, 
central to those lies is stuff like we vote on things and those things come to pass, you know? And so you shouldn't complain because you did this to yourselves. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself, basically, as a governmental structure, which is warped. And I, I just have to talk about it again because I'm just so tired of people all hyped about a TV show not even realizing it's a TV show. Nothing's ever going to get better. We don't have time. People are just... They're just not smart enough anymore. For whatever reason, they just don't have enough accurate data. I kind of wonder why I feel... I honestly feel like I've gotten more accurate data as I go. I feel like I could sit down with 20-year-old me and, and we would be in profound disagreement in a lot of ways. And that means I've grown. And I feel like... Uh, 20 year old being had a lot of untested assumptions and just didn't even think to, to check certain things because they seemed so intrinsic because repeated hourly by our lying civilization. And I presume I'm going to continue growing. I mean, I imagine I'll be substantially different when I'm, you know, 60, assuming I survive, assuming I mean, again, AI in five years, 10 at the max outside. So I don't know, man. It just seems pointless. Like I, any reform effort. Once again, like the genocide, you know, it's like the Iraq war protests all over again. It's like, dude, it doesn't even matter if you get the entire world to show up and protest. The billionaire's gonna billionaire. They don't care. We have to physically stop our enemies. Like, that's the lesson of nature. When a saber tooth comes for you, there's nothing you can do but spirit. Or be lunch. You know? And everything's like that. And that is not the basis I was given. I, I, I grew up civilized. And more and more I think of that word as being the same as institutionalized. You know, yeah. and it's that civilization that kept me going. Like if I, if, if I grew up in, you know, a hunter gatherer village, I wouldn't last because I'd be like, this is it. Like if I'm in the 15th century and I know there, there's no fixing this. You know, maybe if I was if I was in the deep distant past and knew nothing about physics and chemistry, I could convince myself that maybe I could find the philosopher's stone or something and live forever. Because I've always been trying to beat the problem of death and pain. Like, it, it, it's like, yeah, I want to survive, and I want to make it so that these problems that I have now are gone forever. I want to solve problems, not briefly, temporarily mitigate them until I'm dead. You know. So if I ever come to really believe that there's absolutely no way to fix this stuff, that I'm the equivalent of a 17th century peasant and there's no, like I have literally no way out and nothing to look forward to, well, I'm done, right? Like I've talked about that before. It's like, it depends on what the AI does. I'm going to stick around and see if I get a, a look to windward kind of future, you know, uh, Theseus transfer. Which you can no longer look up because I lost my web page, yay. But anyway. Um I j I don't know. I'm just It's just so frustrating. I'm I'm sitting here bored. I play the game, the game sucks. I stop playing the game. Inboxes. YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, whatever. And it's all just the same shit. It's people making a strong case constantly in a thousand different ways for why they should never have any kind of agency. And <laughs> that is really, really hard to deal with. I mean, it's like worse than collaborators. Collaborators imply the existence of rebellion. You know, it's like, 
I have to keep rebels down as a collaborator. Like, and that implies that, that people are awesome. They're agents. They want to fix things. They, they're, they are dynamic and, and active and they want to just fix things, you know, but when it starts to become clear that that's not the case, that's so much harder to deal with. You know, it's, it's like prisoners of war. You look at them in a cage or something and they're like, those guys want out. They're hatching a plan. They're, they, they are looking around. You're need, you're going to need to check their bunks for spoons because they're digging a tunnel or sharpening them. You know what I'm saying? And there's dignity and respect there. It's like, human yeah you're trying you know but if it's sheep in a pen you open the door they don't even know to leave or they're intelligent sheep and they make arguments for why they shouldn't leave oh man that's that's a lot harder to deal with that's a lot more emotionally toxic <laughs> and I just had to share. I got nothing else.